the Penny, Penny universities. universities. Yeah. And then they turn to like modern newspapers. If perhaps the consumption could start to be going up again just because of the um, the population of people that are going to colleges and universities, and perhaps that on an uptick um, because we talked about that in the Pumpwalki course, uh -huh. um, that that's going up. So perhaps that might also have something to do with that and be reaching out to other um, other ethnicities that it wasn't maybe reaching before because they have more impact now on them. Yeah, and I mean this this third place where people, college students, want to go, or anybody, it's the third place. It's not work, it's not home, it's the coffee shop. And yes, was Jose, did you have a comment on that one? You no, know, I had a, uh, just, a, just in listening to what you're presenting, I mean, I'm a Latino, and I mean, from the time you're old enough to walk, you're brought up on coffee mm -hmm. that late. And uh, <laughs> uh, that was a late bloomer, I guess. Yeah, right. And uh, it just, and then I started thinking, why would the, because that's the fastest growing sector of the population, why would Latino yeah, coffee consumption be down? And I mean, that's just something that right. I, I look at that and I say, wow, that would be shocking. I think you know, if I'm Starbucks, I'm trying to answer that because that's a culture that is not a tea culture. It mm -hmm. is definitely a coffee culture. Yeah. And it's the largest non-white group in the country, the fastest growing. Why is coffee consumption going down? Right. I would be, I mean, that to me is probably the most surprising thing yeah. in <laughs> your felt. study is you sit back and kind of start digesting some of the information coming out here is if you had said the which percentage of ethnic grouping population would have the single biggest impact i would have thought that coffee consumption was going up and it was going up instead of the white population going down the latino population going up and i mean that yeah, it, it shocked me in the beginning, yeah. especially. That Just wild. seeing that trend line was why. You know, that was my huge question for ever trying to figure out why. And I think it was Dieter that I, you were walking by, and I was like, I figured it out. Remember in class? <laughs> <laughs> I figured it like, out. Yes. I wonder why, did you think about looking at world coffee prices during that period? Because it seems to be coffee has just gone up. I don't know how many yeah. gold in those 46 years. Yeah, and the the retail prices kind of show in that because of the weather in producing countries and supply and demand, it will, it will kind of show. But um, worldwide, even uh, trying to keep the focal point, you know, with the U.S. And, and I could study this for years, you know, I would never finish. But um, it's interesting to see that through even just retail prices and you know what's going on with flooding or anything frost that completely wipes out plantations definitely has an effect on this but it's kind of like a separate um, piece of the study which, which could be further researched yeah. too. Which, uh, Heather Gunter, her independent study on this that I think she looked quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, prices as well. So it up all the way right. One thing um, which I did not realize she said that coffee is the second Commodity number one is oil. Right, yeah. yeah. So it's incredible. Yeah, it's huge. Um, yeah. I'm not sure. So, like, the, the processes went through the mm -hmm. linear equation mm -hmm. model. Um, did you do any tests for zero correlation of that kind of thing to see if, like, certain, certain variables, like, maybe highlighted here on, the, on page five? Like collinearity? Yeah, collinearity. Yeah, it didn't show, and I tried to avoid that even in the beginning of choosing my variables and, and getting that diverse group. Um, but it didn't show through the results any collinearity. So Lynn and I discussed the, the research a lot in, in making sure that was in there. But that was definitely a thought. You know, you didn't want to go into that and find something that would be kind of redundant. Any other questions? Just a comment. Yeah. I mean, you said you know any study can just keep going on. Yeah. Finished, and that's a really important part of a study to say this yeah. is this is what I can do 
and to bring it to a conclusion and moving on. Yeah. I mean, the second thing I'd like to say is you pick the topic people care about. Yeah. And I think that's always a good thing to do. Yeah. Thank I mean, you. everybody can relate to it. I mean. And she has a passion for this. So. <laughs> yeah. I do. Yeah. So. Okay, now I want to address a couple of comments to Peter and Tiffany in particular, because you guys are just starting on this process. I want to point out some things that she had in her presentation that I think are particularly, particularly applicable to both. Her slides were simple, clean, not cluttered. You don't want to load them up. That is Amazing what that does to a presentation as opposed to trying to do a brain dump on the slide. The slide is just a talking point that gets you started. Okay. Second comment, her problem statement. Notice how clear her problem statement was. You knew exactly what she was studying, what she was going to be talking about when she says this study was conducted to develop a model through the investigation of a statistical relationship between U.S. coffee consumption factors specific to the coffee industry, general economic conditions, and consumer, consumer behavior indicators based on the 1964 to 2010 experience. Nobody has any doubt about what she's going to be talking about. Uh, that was Clear. Her research questions were also very clear and very pointed, right to the point. There was no misunderstanding of what she was attempting to do. The more you can be on point, the more or the easier it will be for your audience to follow you, and the easier it will be for you to finish your thesis because you won't be running down all these rabbit trails that a general question allows you to do. And rabbit trails and finishing a thesis are mutually exclusive. They don't go hand in hand, okay? Finally, in her conclusions, she went back and she said, notice she started off her presentation, here's what I'm going to tell you. Then she goes into the presentation and she tells you. Then she gets to the conclusion and she says, here's what I just told you. In case you didn't get it, here's what I just told you and here's how I'm going to summarize it. Really critical elements, not just of a thesis presentation, but of any business presentation you make. It's all about Here's what I'm getting ready to discuss with you. Then I discuss it, and then I tell you what I just discussed with you. So you have those four, five, six, seven nuggets to take away, and that just puts a that puts the ribbon wrapping around the box, the present box that goes under the tree. I love what you did with that. Thank you. I thought, and I commend. I know the good Dr. Reeser, Tan was all over that because I see Lynn and the way she makes her presentations. You're wise to take this lady's counsel. Uh, and then finally, I thought there was so much that came out of this that I was, and I drink a lot of coffee, and, and I felt, thought I knew. I would have been just like you. I would have been... Here are my predictions of what I'm going to find out. I've been off base on everything. I think there's enough here that you can take and modify that, and I think you have something that is publication worthy. And I would recommend to both of you strongly that you look at presenting this in some type of economic journal because I think there's stuff there that maybe Starbucks knows it internally, but nobody else outside of Starbucks is aware of this. I think this is, I, when I look at these thesis presentations, I go, okay, great, it's a finished project, but I also look at, is there something here that could go beyond and could be published? I think this is publication worthy. Uh, 
those are my comments, um, and I just think congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.